Well, from rugged mountain ranges to its vast dual sea, there is, as we know, plenty to love about our land down under. And travel company What If has released its Aussie Town of the Year awards. And, little drum roll. I do it myself. Have a drum. Launceston in Tasmania has taken out the top spot. I was in Lonnie yesterday. That's followed closely by Caloundra in Queensland, Tamworth in New South Wales, and Yarra Valley in Victoria. They are all great spots, aren't they? For now, let's talk to some winners. We've got local Errol Stewart and friends in Launceston this morning. Good morning, Errol. Nice to see you. Um, like I said, I was in Lonnie yesterday. What a great place. Yeah, great place to live, Carl, indeed. Uh, great place. What, what are the great things about Launceston? Sell it to Australia right now. Well, we're really well connected to the eastern seaboard. We've got uh, you know, daily flights to just about every capital city. You know, we live in a really great temperate climate. Uh, there's strong jobs growth. Uh, we have really good schools. Uh, you know, we, we're well connected to the arts. Uh, it's just a great place to live. It's a very livable city. It's inexpensive to live here as well. Uh, and I think you put all those together, uh, anybody can be at work in five or ten minutes. It makes mm. it a pretty good place to, to want to live. You've also got yeah. the Bogues, the Bogues factory. Um, <laughs> I spent a bit of time there yesterday, three Did or four you? hours. Yeah, yeah, just having a little look. <laughs> yeah, that's just around the corner. Yeah. You know, you know your problem now, though, of course, that you've topped this list. You're going to be inundated yeah. with people. Are you OK with that? Uh, OK with that. We, we still need people, obviously. Uh, you know, through the last couple of years, uh, when we turn the taps off from uh, flying into Tasmania, it certainly hurts, uh, you know, the tourism businesses and, and the restaurants. So w we need you uh, like uh, never before. That boardwalk where you are right now, where all the boats are, that's sensational. Uh, I can see almost the, the way through to the gorge. Um, Beaconsfield, not far away. The Tamar Valley. I mean, there's so many places in and around Launceston to go out and see as well, eh? Yeah, look, there's, uh, the, the wineries that have popped up over the last decade are, are just enormous. If, uh, if you have a fly around the region and just see the, the infrastructure that's been put into the, to the wine business, uh, it's quite incredible. And we have this great river that sits right behind me uh, that goes right to the sea. It's, uh, it's a pretty special place. It's got some beautiful, uh, beautiful access. You know, obviously the gorge is uh, one of our great natural assets. Um, um, you know, there's plenty of things to, to look at and, you know, it's just a really Lonica. good cosmopolitan city. And, I mean, you've also got the Lonnie Cup. Oh. That's today. Uh, got any hot tips for us? Uh, well, the Lonnie Cup's a big uh, big day in Launceston. Uh, I'm not sure that we uh, that I can tell you the winner. I um, no, can't. Uh, but certainly it's a big day. A lot of people from interstate. Um, we can have a go at picking the winner, but I think you'd be best to back the favourite. <laughs> well, the favourite is, and well done, Launceston. I reckon it's one of the great towns in Australia. Beautiful people and, and wonderful things to see. Thanks for being with us today. And to everyone going to the Launceston Cup, um, as Ali and I always say, um, please drink responsibly. Never heard you say that before. But nice to see you growing up. Oh. Oh. Proud of you. Thank you. <laughs>